I am Mrs. Vaidehi Kulkarni. Today we are going to see PN junction diode and its applications. Learning outcomes are at the end of session students will be able to explain the operating, operating conditions, its specification and applications. Before to that students must know various semiconductor materials and formation of depletion region contents diode operating conditions diode current equations specifications of diode practice problem and applications as we know where p and n type of semiconductor materials are chemically combined together forms a pn junction diode so it operates in three regions very first is unbiased where P and N type of material forms a junction and that will form a barrier where immobile ions create a barrier potential. So ions produce a bias barrier potential in unbiased condition. Second condition is forward bias. Electron, electrons and holes are given a sufficient energy provided that anode of the diode is connected to p type of material that is or sorry it is connected to positive of voltage source and cathode is connected to negative of voltage source thus sufficient energy is provided and holes or electrons will cross the junction and there will be flow of current through diode third condition is reverse bias where anode is connected to negative of voltage source and cathode is connected to positive of voltage source this holes in p type of material and electrons in n type of material moves away from the junction and this causes depletion region widen that is increase in the depletion width so these are the diode operating conditions so diode follows the diode current equation. So diode current equation is I equal to I0 e to the power V divided by eta Vt minus 1. I0 is nothing but reverse saturation current. V is applied voltage. Eta is material constant. 1 is for silicon and 2 is, two is for silicon and 1 is for germanium. So Vt can be calculated with the help of K into T that is Boltzmann constant into temperature in degree Kelvin. So it can be also calculated as T in degree Kelvin divided by 11600. It's nothing but temperature equivalent voltage. As we say diode follows the diode current equation. So for unbiased condition when voltage is zero then current value is again zero that is e to the power zero is one so one minus one giving you zero and that's why current flowing through diode is also zero in second condition when forward bias voltage is applied then equation will become i equal to i zero e to the power v divided by eta vt as 1 is very very small than e to the power v by eta vt that's why your equation for forward bias condition is i equal to i0 e to the power v by eta vt in the reverse bias condition when voltage is negative at that time exponent value is very very negligible and that's why v gives you I equal to I0 equation and that's why leakage current flows due to minority carriers. Here I0 and Vt that is reverse saturation current and temperature equivalent voltage depends on temperature that's why overall diode characteristics depends on temperature. As 10 degree rise in temperature gives double 
in the valley of saturation reverse saturation current so we can conclude that diode characteristics depends on temperature so just recall the diode equation and calculate the forward voltage so you can pause this video for a minute and you can solve and verify that diode is following the equation or not so use the diode current equation assume the temperature as room temperature convert temperature into degree kelvins also assume diode as a silicon diode that's why you have to get eta based on the silicon diode specifications so answer is 0.43 volt some of the specifications of diode are listed here in data sheet you are able to find forward voltage at the specified current and temperature maximum forward current at specified temperature very important characteristics of diode while selection is reverse voltage rating that is fourth one it is also known as peak inverse voltage or peak replicative reverse voltage that is to be observed while selecting diode for any application maximum power dissipation is also important parameter for the specified value of temperature so based on all these parameters you can select a specific diode for given application so we can observe now various applications of diode diode can be used for the rectifier circuit for converting ac signal to dc it can also be used for the battery charging circuits so simple applications of diode are like protective circuits against overcurrent polarity reversal current caused by an inductive kick in a relay circuit so this three applications giving you simple applications used for voltage limit or current limit applications so third category of applications are wave shaping circuit where diode is very beautifully used to clip the voltage nothing but to remove the certain voltage also it can be used to clamp the voltage where capacitor has to be utilized with diode so wave shaping circuits are very beautiful application for diode circuits it can be also used as a multiplier circuit by just using the multiple diodes you can have the charging of capacitor and that gives you voltage multiplier application of your diode so with the help of this wave shaping circuit you can develop various clipping and clamping circuit widely used in television circuits references are you thank you